Whether you enjoy cleaning or you don't like cleaning so much, and I happen to be on this side, you still want to find ways to make cleaning easier and to spend less time doing it. And that's why cleaning hacks are so helpful. So it's my job to find those cleaning hacks, research them, test them, tweak them, and then share them with you. So this week, I'm gonna show you five more cleaning hacks that will save you time. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and like this video if cleaning hacks save you time. It's always fun to buy a nice glass pitcher or a vase or a carafe, but let's be honest, they can be hard to clean sometimes. I mean, how's that situation happening? So there's an easy fix for this. Instead of buying a bottle brush, all you have to do is fill the vessel with a quarter cup of white rice, which acts as your abrasive, an eighth of a cup of water, and a squirt of dish soap. Give it some really good swirls. Then rinse it out and take a cloth and clean the upper part of the inside of the vessel. Rinse it out again, buff it dry, and you're all done. Aluminum foil has a lot of great uses around the house, and in fact, we have a video on aluminum foil, which I will link for you down below. But the one I wanna talk about specifically today has to do with saving you time when you're ironing, because I don't know about you, but ironing is not my jam, and if I have to do it, I wanna spend the least amount of time possible slaving away at that ironing board. So here's what you can do. Remove the ironing board cover and take a piece of aluminum foil and start to line the ironing board itself with the aluminum foil. Do that until the entire base is covered. Then put the ironing board cover back on top and iron as usual. What's happening is the heat from the iron is then being absorbed into the tin foil and then reflected back up onto the garment. So essentially, your garment's getting a double whammy when it goes down on the ironing board. It's getting ironed from the top and then heated from the bottom, making ironing a lot quicker, which saves you time, which means less time in front of an ironing board and more time living your life. If you use dryer sheets and you want to find a second life for them before you pitch them, why not use them to clean your baseboards after they come out of the dryer? You might notice that they're not as stiff, they're a little more crinkly, and they don't have any of that coating on them. Well, that's a good thing when it comes to cleaning baseboards. Your dryer sheets are still going to have some electromagnetic charge to them, which means they can attract dust, which is always a good thing when you're dusting. All you need to do is wipe your baseboards as you normally would with the used dryer sheet, and then when it's done, you can crumple it up with those dust bunnies, pitch it in the garbage, and know that at least you did a little bit of upcycling. Pool noodles now have uses all year round, not just for swimming in the pool, which is something I'm kind of thinking about, especially considering it's now snowing where I live. But the reason pool noodles can be used all year round is because they are absolutely great for keeping your boots in shape. And while you might not think this is important, consider this. If you've ever put on a pair of boots and they've started to bunch and wrinkle at the ankles, well, that's because they're not being kept in shape when you're not wearing them. And if you're investing good money in a pair of boots, I like to do that because I'd rather buy really good boots, have them last me for many years instead of a cheaper pair of boots and have them not last me. You wanna keep the actual leg part of the boot standing up for as long as possible because that will mean the leather is in better shape and it won't get bunchy and wrinkly. So take your pool noodle, cut it to size, make a pair, and then when you're not wearing your boots, stuff the pool noodle inside and it will keep your boots upright and long lasting. Most cleaning hacks I share, I try, but I came across one that I haven't had a chance to try yet, but I really want to. And I wanna know if you guys have tried this one either. So let me know in the comments down below if you have. And it all has to do with getting static out of your clothing, especially in the colder months. And if you don't like using dryer sheets, if you don't have dryer balls handy, but you're sick and tired of static cling, all you have to do, according to this hack, is pin a safety pin to something like a towel or a sock and put that in with your load of laundry that you're going to dry. The idea is that the safety pin acts as kind of a lightning rod to absorb all of that electrostatic energy. So that way, when your stuff comes out of the dryer, it doesn't have static cling. So I'd love to know if you guys give this a try and if it works for you in the comments down below. And if you haven't tried this, what do you guys use for static cling? Rice, some tin foil, a pool noodle, a pin, and a dryer sheet. These are probably all things you guys have lying around the house. I mean, we certainly did. And they're all things that you can use to make cleaning a little bit easier. So I'd love to know in the comments down below, what is the one cleaning hack that you guys use 
all the time at home that really helps you. Doesn't necessarily have to be from what I shared here in this video, just something that you use that your grandmother passed on to you. I don't know, just share the goods in the comments. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And since we're talking all things cleaning hacks, this is not my first time at the Cleaning Hack Rodeo. In fact, this is the fifth cleaning hack video that I have done. You can check out this video over here, which is a cleaning hacks video featuring five great hacks. And the one beside it, exact same thing, but different cleaning hacks. I hope you guys enjoy those two videos. You can visit our website, it's cleanmyspace.com. Hope you guys have a great week and that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.